I'm front probed into this using the correct pins. One of them is just to see the signal because it's zero now on the signal with the ignition on. I know that it's the sensor that gives the wire the voltage instead of that wire having 5 volts on it and the sensor lowers the voltage to the relevant position of the EGR valve. In this case it's going to, there's nothing on that wire so it's going to give a voltage on that wire the sensor's going to give it, so it's a pull up what Scanner Dana calls a pull up design. Um, I'm also checking, you see the other two wires there, those white ones, they're going to a light bulb that I just got off eBay and a couple of connectors so I can go for different brightnesses using that test kit and I noticed if I switch the ignition on it lights dimly and then goes out so that's telling me the wiring for the motor side of it's okay it's just not doing anything it's not moving the motor doesn't move so I could back probe I suppose the motor and see if I can hear it move but it's stuck at three 0.3 volts all the time so it is stuck open it's not moving so it looks like it's got a problem with that and I think I'm happy to say that the wire I'm going to the motor is getting something obviously it would be pulsed I don't think it would be on all the time but using the basic tools that I've got a light bulb a breakout kit and this instead of using a Pico I'm just here with some basic stuff and I'm still able to see what's going on. What I want to do is give this one something about 1 volt or 1.1, somewhere in there, see if I can clear the fault code and then see if it'll allow me to clear the ABS fault codes because I've got a parking, it's got an electric parking brake, getting a message for that, not working on the dash, but there's no fault codes when I go into the module. The ABS has an engine fault. If you go into the ABS module, there's an engine fault. So you get the ABS light flagging up on the dash as well. And when you go into the engine, it says it's got an EGR fault. So I think, in this case, if we fix the engine fault, the ABS fault will be happy, because it won't have a fault in the engine. And consequently, because the parking brake is linked into the uh, ABS, because it uses it for like hill starts so it can take the brake off when you pull away and stuff like that. I think they're all linked so we've got an EGR fault and there it is right down there at the back. It's a bit of a pain to get to. I can get to the wires. This is a Citroen C4 by the way. I don't know if I said it's 2009. So now I'm going to give that a voltage and see if I can clear the fault code so I know in 30 if the signal wire was in the correct position, I can't clear the fault codes now, but if I give that the right voltage, can I clear all the fault codes? And then we know that when we put this EGR on, we're going to fix all the faults in one go. So that's it plugged in. I'm just put it somewhere. It's at 1.2. It might be a bit high for a closed EGR, but I'm using this sensor simulator. I think the battery in here that might be a little low because I've actually got this turned up higher and it's only at 1.2 volts there. However, when I put that on and press the clear faults, it allowed me to erase these. So let's see, now it says normal, it doesn't say there's no fault code. So I'm going to go into this and check. No fault code for the first time. Okay, that's good. Couldn't do that before. So now we can come out of that one. You know, while well, you're seeing that, I'm going to go into the ABS, because that was the other one, with a fault code. And it's telling me basically about driving at 10 kilometers an hour. No fault code. So that one fault code's going to fix that. And we already had no fault in the parking sensor. In fact, it's not saying it on the dash anymore. The engine light's on because I've not started the car. So that proves the engine light works. So here we go. A nice uh, diagnosis. Really easy diagnostic here in this case. Three faults, parking sensor, ABS, and the um, engine. And they were all because of the engine. One thing you might notice, I've now got a dent in my head there. I got 
had an accident doing a coil spring and uh, that's why I've been away for a bit, I went to hospital. Uh, but now I'm getting my memory back, I lost my memory at the time. But I was really lucky, so... Um, anyway, that's nothing to do with this video. So, it's all good now, I, I think I'm confident to say what we need. I won't have time to fit the part today, but I know exactly if I put that part on, I know it's going to fix all those modules with one part. So that was the point of this. I'm going to show you a little diagram what's going on, because it'll explain it a bit better than me talking. So here's a recap of what I've done. I've got the white, red, green, purple and orange wires. So that one must be the 5 volt signal supply, or the reference. The next two were at zero most of the time. So they're going to be going to the motor that moves the valve for the EGR. The purple's going to be the signal wire. 3.3 volts all the time in this case, and it shouldn't be, that's the fault with it. And the, the orange wire is a ground at zero volts. I got these faults here, we've got the parking brake fault, and that's because it's got an ABS fault because they're linked to each other, it uses the wheel speed as part of the parking brake and that, so that one's not really a, a fault so the ABS then, we look at the fault on the ABS the ABS fault is due to, it's got an engine fault so we look at the engine fault and that was due to the EGR being stuck well it said slightly open so that's the fault, that's the only fault that we found that we can go and check something so far all faults wouldn't clear, so I put the test light across that I've shown you going into the red and the green wire. And when I put the ignition on, this light lit for a second, then went out. That's when it's trying to move the motor. It sees no change on the uh, position, so it gives up. It doesn't see a change in the signal. So the purple wire never changed from 3.3. Disconnected that plug from the EGR and it goes to zero volts, that means this wire as I put here it's the jab of the sensor here, the sensor gives that signal wire a voltage it's what scanner down a calls a pull up so there's no voltage on the wire with it disconnected the only voltage that's going to be on that wire, it'll vary depending on the position of the EGR valve and that all comes from the sensor um, and the more that the valves open, the higher the voltage will go. So I'm looking for about half a volt or one volt, not 3.3. So what I've done with a sensor simulator is connected. I got my simulator, switched it on, although it was a low battery. It was enough to give it a volt to see what would happen. So the red wire on the sensor simulator, I went to uh, the signal wire, which was purple in this case. And the ground, I just, it's like a, a clamp on it. I connected that to the engine ground. Then I was able to clear all the faults with, the, uh, with that on. I could clear all the fault codes, so I knew then that's what's wrong with it. Fixing that one EGR valve, or replacing it, I need to get one and fit it. That's going to fix all the faults, so that was a handy test now. That's the only way, the only time I could get that light to clear on all the fault codes. So hopefully this makes a bit of sense. Got these pull-up design on here. Some sensors, this is what I learned from uh, watching Scanner Dana, but some of these sensors are at zero volts when they're disconnected, some are at five, and then if it's five volts it will have the sensor will take some voltage away. So it will still be the same sort of readings, but it takes the voltage away. The sensor takes the voltage depending on the height of the EGR valve in this case. Um, but this one's the other way around, so the sensor gives it some voltage depending on the height. So that's what Scanner Dana calls pull up or pull down. Um, before I watched him, I didn't know that it was called pull up or pull down. I just called it gives it voltage or takes it away but now I know the proper wording for it but hopefully that's helpful to somebody thanks for watching